My name is Sahar Vardi. I'm 18. I'm a Shministit. My name is Yuval Aron. I'm 19 years old. I'm a Shministit. My name is Omer Goldman. I'm 19 years old. I'm a Shministit. My name is Maya Yechieli Vind. I'm 19. I'm a Shministit. Shministi means 12 graders in Hebrew. We are Israeli conscientious objectors. That means we refuse to serve in the Israeli army. Because they are occupying another people, the Palestinians. Palestinian kids can't go to school because of checkpoints. Or even get health care. Many young Palestinians go to prison for no reason. A lot of them have been killed. Or their homes demolished. The government says this policy is keeping us safe. But denying Palestinians their basic human rights put us all in danger. It's illegal. It's wrong. It's immoral. It's against my personal beliefs. It's against my basic values. It's against my values. That is why we are conscientious objectors. That's why we conscientious objectors. That's why we're conscientious objectors. That's why I'm a conscientious objector. We are Shministim. We are Shministim. We are Shministim. I am a Shministit. We're being jailed for refusing to serve in the army. We need your support. Please sign the letter. And tell all your friends. Palestinians, Israeli, Jews, Muslims, Christians, atheists, everyone. We all need to stand together. Against violence, against repression, no matter who does it. Take a stand with us for peace. Coexistence. And real future for children like us, everywhere. Sign the letter today. Sign the letter today. Please sign the letter today. Please sign the letter today. You ask me to suck. You and you fucking Jesus could kiss my ass, okay? Go away. Screw you. Go away. Don't camera, no camera. I break your camera. Don't, uh, don't take picture, okay? Take Screw you, you Nazi! You fuck! Don't take your camera! I break your camera! Don't take picture! Shabbat shalom! No picture! We don't want picture! Leave! You need, you need to. You need to. You can't come in here. This is. A, this is a, not your house. This is not your house. We killed Jesus. We're proud of it. Did you record that? This is my land. You this is not your land. It belongs to these families. Land, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna kill you and the Palestinians. You and for Nazi, them. you son of a shit. And for them. And for them. This is my land. God gave it to me. Fuck you. So as you can see, the, the, this is some settlers working illegally on Palestinian land in the region of Susia. This is not their land. They do not have documents for this land. They've erected fencing and fighting. Go out. And go out. Do not touch me. Go, do go not out. Touch me. This is go not out. Land. Go out. Go out. This is not your land. Please do not hurt me. Go Nazi. Go to Germany. We're not Nazi in Germany. My house. You know me. Yeah, yeah. You don't know me, right? So go. No, no, no. You want to protect Palestinian land. Yeah. But don't take my pictures. How do you want to protect Palestinian land? How is this protecting? How is this protecting Palestinian land? You are stealing it. You're stealing their water resources. You're preventing Palestinian farmers. Water resources. Yes. 
You're preventing Palestinian farmers from using you know this land. How much money puts this here? Is valuable agricultural. You don't know nothing. If you really want to know, take down the picture and come to my house, drink a tea. And if you really want to know, if you don't really want to know, continue to do this I shit. I do want to know. As you can see, side. this conversation is going nowhere. They will not recognize that this is legally Palestinian land for which the Palestinian landowners have documents. There have been uh, numerous instances like this where they have been quite aggressive towards us. You saw the behavior of that man who was threatening both of the international human rights workers here. Um, and the police have been completely useless in the matter. They arrive after the workers have left. And if they arrive at all while the workers are here, they do nothing. So, um, <laughs> The problem is there are settlers working on this land. Uh, they have, they're putting up the fence. They've got the fence all the way around. The uh, fencing, fencing. Uh, Today, tomorrow will be all the way around. Fence. You know, a fence? tomorrow. Yes, yes. I think you know this land, right? Do you know this land, John? Well, would all the violence and conflict in the Middle East evaporate if Israel simply ceased to exist? My next guest says Israel is not only breaking Jewish law with its military strikes against the terrorist group Hezbollah, but that the state of Israel itself should not even exist in the first place. What you may find more shocking is that the person saying that is a rabbi. He is Yisrael Weiss from Jews United Against Zionism. Uh, rabbi, yes, pretty strong words. Yes, sir, but uh, this is the view uh, that was shared by all religious leaders throughout, uh, I mean, the last hundred years when the Zionism was, uh, the whole movement of Zionism was created, the concept, the ideology of transforming Judaism from spirituality, a religion into a materialism, a nationalistic goal to have a piece of land. All the rabbinical authorities said this is uh, antithetical with what Judaism is all about, ex expressly forbidden in the Torah because we are in exile by God. Uh, so you shouldn't have a state. You shouldn't have a country. You and shouldn't we, have a government. We shouldn't have a state, we should be living amongst all the nations as the Jews were doing for 2,000 years as loyal citizens, uh, people who are serving God, emulating God with compassion, and that there is a religious conflict. We have been living for hundreds of years amongst the Muslims and Arab communities without any UN human rights groups to watch. So life, let me ask you this, Rabbi, was life better for the Jews prior to the creation of the Jewish state of Israel? 100%. In Palestine, we have the testimony of the Jewish community living there and other lands that they were living in harmony, and they pleaded with the United Nations. In the documents, we have the chief rabbi of Jerusalem said, we do not want a Jewish state. The Muslims, Christians, and the Jewish inhabitants were ignored with the creation of the state. This political Nevertheless, state. you might not have had a country per se, but you were not a stranger to being abused or, or, or slaughtered. Uh, over the millenniums, right? And particularly as recently as 50, right. 60 years ago. Right? There is an issue of being killed because of anti-Semitism. And then there's another issue where you antagonize and you create your anti-Semitism through, anti through Zionism. Doing that, they, in other words, it's not a free-for-all. You'll knock out your neighbor's windows and then yell anti-Semitism. All right, now I know you are an Orthodox Jew. What do traditional Jews think of that position? Well, this is and was, this was the mainstream view of worlds, Jewish people worldwide, whether it was... Uh, well, I know it was. Yes. It isn't now. So it what is. do they tell you now? Well, they've, what they've done is they've... T let's just talk about the religious point of view, because we're talking about the Judaism, not people who have left the folds of Judaism. Right, right. The Jewish view is that uh, the mainstream view would be that, true, we shouldn't be having a state, but once it's created, the Zionist... Uh, propaganda that the Arabs want to throw every Jew into the ocean and there's an ingrained hate against the Jews that, which they've 
convinced many Jews to believe this is why they are fearful of returning the land. The well, you can't blame them, right? I mean, you have the president of Iran who says the Holocaust never existed, and if he had his brothers, he'd destroy Israel and all the Th Jews. That's also patently false. He has a Jewish community in Iran, and they haven't murdered them when they had the opportunity. So you take him, you don't take him at his word that he would try to kill Jews? He's, he would, he would want to, uh, the, the, the dismantling of the political state of Israel. He'd,